it's it's a bit thickish, and obviously it's a very small little bevel. I didn't make a bevel on this thing. That's the bevel it came with, but it's super sharp. That's lacquer. It's cutting amazingly. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Look at this. Can you believe this thing? No uh, support. No but what? batoning and all of that. Just like. You are. Just, I'm keeping this knife for myself. Anybody that checks this knife on the comments and, and whatever it is and then they want it, you're not getting it. This is my knife. It fits in my hands. Okay? And you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the old. your leg when you're working with so it's got a it's it's a light knife it's light but there's a lot of heft to it uh it's just the right thickness and obviously chopping wood would be something that it will do because of that little bevel and then it's got a lot of meat on the on that uh, on the backbone okay so we know it can chop what about let's check the strand yeah yeah look at that okay that's like now let's look at some fine wood cutting Excuse me. Hello. This is such a perfect. This is the right type of knife for for um, for outdoor. You know, like being in the outdoors. I'm thinking maybe we must drill a hole here and put a lanyard in so that you got a, something to put your hand around it. This material and sort of like uh, roll it up. It is like a cotton actually. So we hold it down there. Uh, I didn't clean the blade or anything after chopping. Let's just see what it does to this. Huh? No, man. Put it on. Put it on. <laughs> this thing is lacquer. So watch your fingers, that's what. Amazing. Look, cut it from. This, this one's the blade. And if I just expose this a little bit here, you'll see what I'm talking about when I say that I am so frightened of this thing. Can you see that? See that bevel there? And that's the cutting edge on this particular blade. And this is the one they use for, for cutting um, the big rolls of toilet paper. So we've done the paper test, we've done the wood test, its ability to chop and check to a close up on this edge here, you can see it's still looking good, you can still cut the paper after chopping like that, no problem. Okay, right, the water bottle test. We need to find a water bottle. Disclaimer. A disclaimer. Normally, you know when they do these videos where they, they knock these bottles, um, they always have like a, a long blade. So this is quite a short blade and we're going to attempt it. Ah, oh, that didn't work. So it did. Can I have a look here? It didn't make a... It didn't, it didn't go right through, but you can see that I did hit it somewhere. Let's try something else. It's making cuts. Okay. Okay, so trying to slice it is not working. And you know it's got a very sharp point. So I'm going to try something weird. I'm going to try to stare into it and then cut and see what it does. And obviously when I stared it, it was going to get stared. Uh, let's see, what did I do? Yeah, yeah, I poked it there. It made a poke. That's quite lethal because this guy's bleeding right now. It still cuts quite easily through the plastic, but it's a thicker plastic. I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's cutting. Not nicely through there. That sound is obviously because the, the, the thing is so thick. The, the blade is thick and it's a very small bevel. The bevel doesn't go right up to the top. Remember, this thing cuts toilet paper, so you can see it, it gives a very mean cut when you start. As long as it gets up to that point, it's cutting quite nicely, and then the rest of the way, this thick part is sort of pushing down on there. Oh, 
don't beat it. It's comfortable. Uh, this part here, you're sort of biting into my hand because when you want to do a, when you want to knock the knife like that, you want to hold it here. You're not doing fine work when you're keeping your thumb there. So you want to get that full swing. You can see every chop that I do into it, it is making, it's doing some damage. Those are real true cuts. Those are true cuts from the blade itself. Dagmar Kaida, this one's for you. It will kill. <laughs> okay, we didn't sharpen it again. Let's do the paper test one more time. We need to get some more paper. It, it's darling a little bit, very slightly. I can feel a difference when I'm cutting through. But for the most part of it, it's quite sharp. So this knife is uh, an awesome knife. And I'm going to make me a sheet with this awesome... We've been ignoring this on the table. This is actually what those blades came wrapped in. It's a very, very hard felt. And I think I'm going to make me a nice little sheet for this knife. With this material. Yeah. Drill a few holes in there and put some eyelets. And uh, maybe I should make a belt loop. Or else I should go cowboy on it and just cut through holes here and make that kind of a belt. Okay, I'm not going to show you a video of how I do that. Um, but if it gets done, I'll show you what it looks like. Thanks so much for watching this video and how I made this knife out of those blades. Uh, the toilet roll, toilet paper blade. I'm going to make more knives with that. It's awesome stuff. Um, and then obviously uh, I'll, I'll video that. If you want a knife like this, then you can uh, you can try and convince me to make one for you, but uh, I'm going to charge you for it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in another video.